A busy Thursday at the Barcelona Open Bank Sabadell saw 16 become 8 as the quarter-final lineup was decided. And with 8 Spaniards in action there was plenty for the local crowd to get excited about. First into action was Nicolas Almagro who was up against France's Joe Wilfred Songa for the second time in as many weeks. In Monte Carlo it was the Frenchman who came out on top in two hard-fought sets and this match proved to be just as hotly contested. But unlike their last match, this time it was Almagro who made the most of his early opportunities to wrap up the first set. Almagro, it's a good game for the Spaniard. And wraps it up in fine style with an ace. A great set of tennis for Nicolas Almagro. But the third seed quickly hit back as he dominated the second set to level the match. And there is the double break. Looking more and more like we'll have decider. Completes an impressive comeback, the Frenchman. With the momentum now firmly in his favour, Songa pushed on in the decider, and there was little the Spaniard could do to prevent a third successive defeat at the hands of the world number 10. Beautiful drop shot, played to perfection. Oh, playing some beautiful tennis right now. He's done it. The Frenchman goes through. Records his third successive victory over Almagro. A very good recovery from the third seed. Yeah, it was not easy today. Uh, I didn't. A good match. Um, Nicolas play all the time. Yeah, unbelievable on play, and uh, for me, it's good to, to win a match like this. Next up was fifth seed Fernando Vadasco for his match against Jurgen Meltzer. And fresh from his runner up performance in Monte Carlo last week, the Spaniard is one of the red hot favourites to succeed Rafa Nadal in Barcelona this week. But it seemed neither player had read the script as the Austrian dominated the opening set. It's a lovely combination of shots and an excellent opening set of tennis from Meltzer. The world number 10 came within two points of defeat in the 10th game of the second set. But somehow he held on to force it into a tie break. Oh, such a shame. Terrific hustle from Vadasco. The Spaniard continued to dig deep to take the breaker and the match headed into a third set. The Austrian again took the early advantage in the decider but continued to struggle with the pressure of trying to close out the match as Vadasco forced his way back into contention. But all of a sudden things looking much more positive for Fernando Vadasco. And after two and a quarter hours on court, it was the Spaniard who came out on top to cap an impressive comeback and remain on course for his first title in Barcelona. Vodasco's 3-6-7-6-6-3 victory, meaning he'll now face Latvia's Ernest Gulbis in the quarterfinals. It was hard conditions, but uh, finally, you know, I had time uh, enough to, to come back and, and win the match finally, so I'm happy. The final match of the day saw French Open runner-up Robin Sodling overcome another home favourite, Feliciano Lopez. The Swede in control throughout as he recorded a 6-3, 6-2 victory in under an hour to set up a quarter-final with Argentina's Eduardo Schwank.